the report of the Committee on Alleged German Outrages, or more commonly known as the Bryce Report, was a 61-page document issued on May 12, 1915. How did this report on alleged outrages come about? What exactly is the Bryce Report? More importantly, why did it help bring the United States into World War I? To begin, in the middle of September 1914, the Belgian government had issued three reports on German war crimes committed during the invasion of the country. There were calls in the British Parliament and the press for a British commission to conduct its own inquiry. Prime Minister Herbert Asquith responded on September 15th by authorizing the Home Secretary and the Attorney General to investigate allegations of violations of the laws of war by the German army. On December 4th, James Bryce was asked to chair a committee which would review the material that had been collected and issue a report. The mission of this committee, which was also known as the Bryce Committee, because he was the chair, was to review the charges that German soldiers, either directed or condoned by their officers, had been guilty of widespread atrocities in Belgium. The committee members were picked by the Britannic Majesty's government. It consisted of James Bryce, who was a former British ambassador to the United States, Herbert Albert Lawrence Fisher, a well-known liberal historian, Sir Frederick Pollock, who was a famous judge and legal historian, and Harold Cox, the Edinburgh Review editor, Sir Edward Clark, a lawyer, and Sir Alfred Hopkinson, who was also a lawyer. James Bryce and his committee, the Committee on Alleged German Outrages, produced what came to be known as the Bryce Report, but was also called the Report of the Committee on Alleged German Outrages. The information for the Bryce Report was gathered from a number of sources, such as refugees living in areas held by the French and British, including refugees in Britain, official accounts published by the Belgian government prior to the fall of their government, and accounts and diaries captured from German soldiers. This report was published in two volumes. One includes a summary of the kinds of atrocities which the report of the Committee on Alleged German Outrages takes as credible. The second is a selection of accounts themselves. The reports of the atrocities themselves that would not have been news to the general public includes the reports of a pattern of systematic actions against civilians undertaken by soldiers, including those acting under orders from their superiors, as well as systematic attacks against cultural sites.